Hi there, today I'll be doing a review of the female fragrance Pure by DKNY. So, Pure by DKNY. Now, for those that don't know, DKNY actually stands for Donna Karen New York. And it's basically because Donna Karen founded the DKNY house back in 1984. It's a, a house specialised in sort of fashion goods for, you know, obviously men and women. And this is one of the fragrances. Before I actually start the proper review, it's good to know that this particular fragrance was made, um, including the bottle and everything, to try and make it as eco-friendly as possible. It really tried to address it address issues of kind of countries that are experiencing poverty yet still manufacturing, you know, stuff like vanilla uh, essential oils and all these things. But they're, they're getting paid so little. This tried to address those issues. Also, the bottle is um, recy made from recycled glass. The aluminium top is supposed to be recycled. So everything's really trying to be sort of very eco-friendly. Now, I'm not a massive supporter of that, although I do support it a little bit. However, I do believe that, you know, you get super large companies that don't give a damn, and they're the ones that really would make the difference. Um, you know, it's like when they say, uh, turn your standby light off on your TV. It makes a difference. It saves energy. Yet you've got factories such as say car manufacturing factories that are going 24-7, 10 to the dozen. What difference is my little standby light going to make when they're doing all that? So thought we'd get that out of the way. But um, yeah, it is still good that companies like this that still have a bit of, you know, clout are making the effort and not just completely thinking of profit, profit, profit. They're thinking of profit, obviously, but they're also trying to give a little back. So I thought I'd put that in. I think that's a really good, uh, good deal. Now, um, pure. I think this fragrance is supposed to sum up sort of nature and everything like that. That's what I kind of used in my thumbnail, a kind of a rain, rainy scene and a, you know, a sort of pretty woman there and the window showing a rainy garden because it's supposed to be sort of natural and nature and a rainy type of feel. It, the bottle is supposed to represent a raindrop or possibly even a teardrop, depending on how you look at it. Very organic and almost, you know, trying to make it look like it's produced by nature itself. It's classified as a floral. And the top and middle notes are a combination of vanilla. Now, this is supposed to be a kind of a, a different sort of vanilla, a Ugandan vanilla, which is supposed to be much more creamy. Now, I haven't done a lot of research on this, but yeah, it's supposed to be a Ugandan vanilla. And that is supposed to be the dominant note of this fragrance. It also contains a dew drop petal. Now, I don't know what that is. I know what petals are, and I know what a dew drop is, but I don't know what the smell of a dew drop on a petal would smell like, but that is what's listed. Um, also, lotus flower, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, freesia, lush orchid, and then in the base, we have white amber and creamy sandalwood. It's a very simple sort of calm and very authentic kind of um, composition there. So how does this smell? Well, I've got it on both wrists as usual, and um, I'll be honest with you, on initial spray, although this is supposed to be centered around um, vanilla, I get a humongous floral blast. Yeah, complete florals. Um, there's a trace of the vanilla in there. Yeah, it's very floral, yet watery. It's uh, got those sort of um, blue aquatic notes. It's a, it's a watery aquatic floral. And I, that's because of the lotus flower. Um, that's definitely like a, a, a pond, a clean pond. And again, that's a very clever use of um, ingredients to create that kind of uh, illusion, that feel. This, this whole fragrance is inspired by sort of nature and organic uh, sort of compounds the bottle like a, a raindrop. So to create that sort of aquatic -y, watery uh, feel is really clever. I'm picking up lots of the rose. I'm also now picking up the vanilla. It's not a kind of heavy vanilla. 
it's a very clean, um, very fresh, fresh, clean sort of vanilla um, that isn't too kind of in your face. As this evolves, um, the vanilla does start to come through a little bit more. You st it's still maintaining that watery feel, which is beautiful. Um, absolutely love that kind of feel, but you can still kind of, you, you can get the rose, you can get the... Um, the watery feel from the lotus flower and then the the vanilla is creeping through as well it's very clean it's very fresh um, a little zingy it's got a little sort of zing to it um, and the florals as i say usually too much floral tends to grannyify and i hate using that word but it does it tends to grannyify a fragrance but the use of the lotus flower with that and the vanilla has sweetened it all down uh, say made it more um, like a flowing stream on a summer's day. Beautiful. As this dries down, um, I also start to pick up on the, although I should have picked it up in the mid, I couldn't really that much, and that is the um, freesia. The freesia, now freesia to me has a kind of a floral woody aroma. So it's blending, as, as this dries down and you start to get the uh, smell of the sandalwood, the creamy sandalwood, is mixing with the floral woody aroma of the freesia. The sandalwood really does um, add sort of depth to this and it also seems to fix in place some of the kind of middle, you know, notes of the, some of the floral notes. So, you know, it's, it's, it's fixing them in place, it's mixing with the freesia, it complements obviously the vanilla, which has got sort of stronger as the fragrance has gone on. Um, sandalwood and vanilla, they're kind of like, you know, they're made to marry together nicely. So all in all, really, really good. Um, so yeah, just rounded off in the best way I can describe this is a kind of a, you know, once it's sort of from mid to dry down, you've got a floral, watery, fresh, clean, charming kind of smell. So, you know, it definitely, if you, the words watery needs to stay in your mind, but also florals and with the kind of warming sandalwood as it dries down. That's sort of the best way I can describe it and the best thing I can say in this review about it. Very pleasant. Downsides are, I don't think it projects very well. It's more of a kind of personal perfume. Uh, better for if you're going to be you know getting a peck on the neck or something like that then it's gonna I think that's really where it's for it's more for a kind of more intimate sort of a occasion it's not a nightclubber where you're gonna you know blast out smells or you know your perfume and choke everybody to death it's a much more mature well not mature but for the you know not for somebody going out clubbing in my opinion but somebody who's kind of going out on a romantic evening. That's sort of where I'd class this. Um, also, another downer is it doesn't last very long either. I think, um, you know, from testing it on myself and, and uh, somebody else, you get about two hours. Um, you know, that's not everybody. You know, everybody's different. But you get about two hours before it becomes a very, very subtle skin scent and pretty much non-existent. Um, so yeah, that's the negative sides is the performance uh, is performance issues. But as a smell itself, absolutely lovely, uh, wonderful smell, very clever. I like the way the whole thing's designed and just everything about it. That's it for the uh, well, not so quick review. None of my reviews are that quick. I tend to waffle too much. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next uh, reviews or whatever video I post next. Possibly um, some tutorials. Hopefully not a rant, although they do always pop up, but definitely a load of uh, fragrance reviews coming soon. Um, that's it for now. Take care. Bye-bye.